Is that really your homeboy? Or is he just somebody you've been knowing for a while? A lot of y'all hanging around niggas you know got real cemetery dirt up under their fingernails because their presence don't challenge you to be better. This gonna be a little rant, I ain't gonna lie. But if you listen for real, you're gonna be better off because I only speak on stuff that I got personal experience with. All right, though, let's get into it. All right, so homies over hoes. This one of the most misinterpreted phrases of all time. Let's say Jamal got a girl that he fucking with, right? Regardless if it's a title involved or anything, like he just fucking with him, or even if he just fucking. And let's say Ray, it's his homeboy. Just gonna use the random name, Ray. And he fucked during or even after Jamal done had relations with this hoe. Now, I ain't been out back in a minute, but it's a stake somewhere that Ray need to be burned on. And I'm gonna tell you why it's wrong. Patterns is why it's wrong. Pattern recognition saved my life many times. One of those times was, was back when I had a, a homeboy. We used to be real cool or whatever. But at the time, I had a girl that I was cool with too. You feel what I'm saying? She would always tell me how he'd be the first one to buy you. Like her shit in be. Always looking at her or whatever. Long story short, he turned out to be, I'm talking about the worst of the worst. I'm talking about some Thanos type shit. I mean, like, surprise getting forced to watch a scary movie with your cousin when you little, like, the worst. And did some, I'm talking about some unfathomable shit to me and one of my other homeboys that I'm still cool with. So, what I mean by pattern recognition is, if they do A, then you can bet your mama they finna do B and C. And probably all the way down to Z, I ain't gonna lie. So, the next time there was ever like a gentleman in question, and they say something like, oh, it's just pussy or something like that, I'm already knowing. That's what the last one did, and this is A. So I already know the rest of the alphabet finna follow. So I know I can't even give him a chance like to be around me, you feel what I'm saying? Cause pattern recognition is the closest thing you gonna ever get to telling the future. And let me go ahead and address this little, uh, it's just pussy thing. You damn right it is, I ain't gonna lie. In this day and age, it's impossible for a girl to surprise me by doing some other shit. Cause it's just like, it's the default software running at this point. Like it's like being surprised that some with an apple on the back is running iOS, you feel what I'm saying? So that ain't the problem. I ain't expect nothing from her. The, that ain't the problem. The problem is the principle. The problem is that you was raised a bitch if you think like that. Or you trying to emulate something that you're not, and neither is okay. It's certain shit you don't do. And I learned the hard way, you never be around anybody that'll do anything. And for all the, the empty head, stir fried, mashed potato brain ass niggas that had one row on their school bus, sitting in a driver's lap, class had two kids and a hundred staff but with a padded flow and a closet full of helmets, saying, oh, bro, it, uh, it ain't that deep. It don't matter. Look at all them doves in their bio, bro. It's worse than a wedding. Look at how many stories they got about being betrayed and crossed and fucked up by people that was the closest to them. Because that's just, like, that's what happened when you don't live by no code. You feel what I'm saying? But nah, this was just a little rant. I ain't gonna lie. This just part one. I done already X'd out half to 95% of your whole little world, your whole little crowd, little friend group that you hang with. And this is part one. A like... 117. All right, now I'm done, bro. Now, boy, baloney head ass nigga, go subscribe and tell me if you agree in the comments. And join my Discord or else. I'm talking about join the Discord in the description. Or I'm going to have your oldest auntie sitting in my lap, hand feeding me strawberries by high noon tomorrow. And if you really fuck with me, use a sound from something in this video on TikTok. But nah, I'm going to catch y'all next time.